Hi guys, I'm Amanda and I'm going to talk about color correcting today. There are a lot of myths about color correcting. It can be very challenging and confusing. So I'm going to take you through the wrongs and the rights of color correcting and hopefully leave you with a little bit of insight of how to actually do it. Color correction products are usually very saturated. I'm gonna show you what these things will do to your face if you use them. Green is meant to correct redness. You would only use something like this if you had a bright red scarlet pimple. You are trying to match it to the problem you are trying to correct. So my redness is there, but it's very faint. So I don't need all of this. And another color you'll see commonly used, especially like Instagram makeup artists, you'll see this red. And it's a very, very rich, ultra saturated red. People will put it under their eyes or to color correct bruises on their face. You don't need this. You don't need to get this intense. So to recap, don't use these. No matter what you see on Instagram, don't look like this. Don't be like me. Don't do it. Okay, so now that you know what not to do with color correction, I'm gonna show you the right way to do it. For somebody like me with mild redness in their skin, I would use a color correcting CC cream, which is green. It's certainly green, you can tell, but it's like a very light green, almost white. I would also use an illuminator with like a pinky or a peach tone for under my eyes because that is going to cancel out the dark circles under my eyes that are you know pretty faint but that need to be corrected it's not super intense and you can blend it in super easily finally i would put a little concealer in that area to cancel out all of it to blend it all together before if i wanted to put like foundation on or something like that so a super light green super light pink, and then a concealer. So we are finished color correcting. As you can see, the results are pretty remarkable. You don't have to use very intense products. You don't have to use some fancy technique. It's not just for the pros, and it's going to completely change your makeup routine.